Hey, what's going on, ladies and gents? It's your friendly Nimricon creator. Listen, guys, there is five things that you should probably know about the arrival of Shenha in Genshin Impact 2.4. Uh, so Shenha obviously is a cryo pull alarm user that's going to be announced very, very soon. She is going to be announced in the 2.4 Genshin live stream, and by the time this video released, she could already have been announced in that live stream or not i'm sort of pre-recording this video so please keep that in mind okay so jenna is a cryo polar user meaning that you're probably going to need a decent blizzard strayer set or emblem of severed fate depending on her role she is a damage dealer you could probably go for the blizzard strayer set as it helps you with that crit rate and you can probably stack you know stack crit damage and attack in order for her to do the output of most amount of damage and seeing that she is a cryo you know character she'll get the bonus edition of the cryo damage bonus as well as the critical rate being increased dramatically so that's really really good but if she is a support type of character we might want to go for the emblem of sort of fate in order for us to get her ultimate uptime or her burst uptime so we sort of want to have her ultimate up all the time so we need that energy recharge her two piece already gives her a 30 percent bonus in the energy recharge department not to mention we're probably going to need some weapons that actually complement the energy recharge obviously critical rate if she, or critical damage or any type of crit if she's you know a damage dealer so um you're going to pick a pole arm for you guys to use and all the pole arms currently are really really good not to mention the catch you can get this to be really powerful so no matter what if she is a damage dealer or she is a support character the catch will be amazing on her increases on the burst damage burst damage crit rate and energy recharge is also added onto it really really powerful stuff so that's the first thing. The second thing I'm going to be talking about is that Chenna is going to have a new boss material. Um, as I'm going around the map, I do not see that Chenna is going to, you know, use like the Wolf Lord boss as a boss material because he drops Geo stuff. I I don't see why Chenna would ever use this type of stuff. So either that's going to happen or we're going to um, go to the Geo Bishop and, you know, battle him some more. But I think that there's going to be a new boss going to be added in Genshin Impact. Obviously, it's a new update. It's a new patch. I expect a new boss to be added in as well. It's not a big deal. It's not like a whole Azdaha or whatever it is, or Ajdaha. Probably going to be like a small boss, uh, just like the Wolf Lord. I mean, that's that. We're going to have to do some farming while she's out. So that's going to be an interesting experience. So Shenha will also come along with the Lantern Ride event or just before the Lantern Ride event. So we actually might see some gameplay footage of her in the actual event. And I think that's a delightful way for Genshin Impact to actually implement her into the game. And so we can see some of her, you know, personality, her character style, what she's all about, maybe some background story about Shenha and who she actually is is i feel like it's an incredible way to add her into the game uh we will also get like character story quest and we'll get maybe some other quest with her in it and either way i think it'll be a good time in general and i cannot wait to see that within genshin impact 2.4 all right so as we move on i'm also going to be talking about having her banner and her banner weapon banner as well she actually might be having a dual banner with another character uh, another character could be Zhongli, could be xiao could be ganyu could be whoever it is uh from liyue because this current or the past patch we've had albedo and yula both be together in a dual banner type thing and it actually performed really really well and because of that or in light of that we actually might get to see both characters or two characters within the same patch again for this new character upcoming and i feel like that's a little bit interesting and i wonder what people are going to think of that because we're probably going to have a dual rerun right after that i think we're going to have to deal with it and i think it's kind of a good way to introduce some more characters into the game kind of hard for a lot of players to choose between these characters because they're not going to have a bunch of gems all the time i'm not talking about the whales i'm talking about the, those who don't spend too much and those who spend don't spend at all so if you're a free to play or a low spender you're going to have a tough time choosing between these characters and i feel like that's kind of unhealthy however seeing that a lantern right a whole big event that's going to be coming we actually might see a lot of generous rewards coming in from genshin impact themselves so 
I guess we're going to have to get ready. <laughs> Speaking of getting ready, we're going to have to prepare so many books. I'm talking about the character experience books. I'm talking about the hero's wits. I'm talking about the mora that's going to be needed. We're going to need so, 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 so many because not only Shen He's coming in, we're also getting Yun Jin coming in. Not, not, I'm not even talking about the new other banners, the rerun banners, because those are a whole nother story. <laughs> I'm just saying we're going to have to do a lot of farming and Genshin is doing a thing now that we need to farm a lot. We're going to have to log in every day, do all the Mora stuff, and it's going to be a whole new experience. I guess this is a good way to get, you know, player retention in and get players engaging with the game more. But I feel like it's a little, a little hard to kind of keep up. So that's another thing that we have to do. Get 800 books to 90 both characters, both Shunha and Yunjin, and then a rerun character coming in the future. That's just a lot to think about. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of more. So we're going to have to do ley lines now <laughs> for a really, really long time. Another thing we have to sort of mention is that Shunha will come out on the first patch of Genshin Impact 2.4, a contrary to the usual second half patch because I see Xiao coming in with the Lantern Ride event, though they're probably going to have Xiao on the second half as well as another character. Obviously, we could have Xiao and Shunha together. I feel like they want to introduce a new character before the Lantern Ride event comes along. Obviously, this is all speculation. This is all predictions. This is not definite. It's not necessarily true so take it all with a grain of salt but as we've seen you know in order for Xiao to have the lantern right together we are going to see Shen He popping up in Genshin Impact 2.4 first patch update possibly it's it's just a possibility but yeah that's going to be five things that you guys want to think about before Shen He arrives to Genshin Impact and I hopefully I got a you know some sort of information that you found useful out to you guys and yeah thank you guys so 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 much for the tremendous amount of support in every single one of my videos for subscribing to my channel for commenting for liking for everything thank you guys so much and uh yeah thank you so much for the support i'll see you guys in the next video very soon so consider liking and subscribing if you did enjoy this one i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye